Welcome back to Automotive Insight, an automotive guy that's a little misguided. Today we have a 2013 Honda Accord Coupe with a six-speed manual transmission. Uh, the VSA warning light is on, the brake light is on, and also the steering light, the little steering warning light is on. So let's get the code scan and see what it is. Before we get started, guys, I just want to let everybody know that we update the channel every single week with new uh, repairs. So if, if you like what you see or you found it helpful, consider giving us a subscribe. So the code's a 121-11 VSA solenoid valve malfunction. The diagnostic procedure for checking this is is not is very limited. So they basically want you to check for updates. If there's no updates, check the harness, which is there's not much to check for this circuit because it's built into the VSA module. And then if all that's fine, they want you to replace it. Besides the price of the part, one good thing about this repair is it doesn't look like it's going to be too hard. It's, it's here in the front corner. This is the four cylinder model. So, and there's not, not jam packed deep in the vehicle. It's kind of right here up front on the passenger side. So, um, first thing we're doing, we'll disconnect the battery. We'll disconnect the connector here. The small, small lines are 10 millimeters. The bigger lines are 12 millimeters. And then the brackets, there's three tens, one here, one here, and one goes sideways into the vehicle. So I'm not going to drain the fluid out of the master cylinder. Less chance of inducing air into the master cylinder, causing more time trying to eventually bleed the air out of this. So I remove the connector. There's a, a clip holding the harness onto the bracket. So get that loose. I'm going to work on removing the four brake lines from the top of the module. All right, we'll work on the two main lines coming from the brake master cylinder. They are 12 millimeters. <clears throat> A flare nut wrench is recommended. These are pretty tight. So I saw a short for a little trick for for flare nuts about putting a valve grinding compound on there it could help prevent it from slipping Whew. well that worked that's tight We're going to move the three mounting bracket bolts. They are 10 millimeters. All right, with assembly out of the car, uh, the bracket is three 10 millimeter bolts on the bottom. We have our new VSA module, which is from Honda. All right, ready to go back in with it. I've left the plugs in the new one just to try to help prevent any dirt getting into 
into it. All right, with our module mounted in place, we'll go ahead and put our connector back on. That's then we're going to work on our two main lines on the side here. Remove the plugs that come in the new one. We'll move the plugs on the top. All right, install your lines. They pretty, there wasn't, we didn't have to bend them much, but they're, they sort of naturally go back to their correct location. And I always try to get a good couple turns on the flare nut just because um, brake lines is, seems to be one of the easiest nut and bolts to cross thread. Cross thread. Cross thread. I'm just snugging these up a little bit because when we do the brake bleeding, I like to come back to the module here to do the first uh, initial bleeding so we're not shoving air all the way out through the a lot of air out through the calipers. It helps if you have a friend for this next part. You got a friend wow, cool. in me. But, uh, you know, buddy bleeding. Um, I've got my, I pulled the fluid that's in the master cylinder out and I've got it filled with new fluid uh, that way it sort of helps to flush in helps flush out the system new fluid and we'll eventually get down to the cap calipers but we're going to start right up here at top uh, we're just going to start with the first one we're going to break it loose okay down up and while doing this I I try to tell people uh, on with a master cylinder do halfway don't do the full stroke because of uh as age and mileage on cars the mass cylinder can wear and you can disturb the seals if you go past that normal wear point so i usually tell people try to do about halfway when doing this um i have messed up master cylinder before doing a full stroke on a high mileage vehicle be up, up. down Up, down, right, let's check our brake fluid level. We're going to work on bleeding at the calipers now. We are on the right rear wheel. It's a 10 millimeter bleeder. Okay, down. Up. Down. Up. All right, we're at the left rear caliper.
right front wheel. It is also 10 millimeter. Left front caliper. So with everything bled, now we're going to do the, it's called a, an adjustment in the scan tool, but uh, it's uh, zeroing out the, the VSA module, uh, you know, an adjustment or, or zero point. Um, it helps the uh, source set everything back to a standard. Um, we're just doing an adjustment. <laughs> It's a manual. All right, so after our zero point, there's no warning lights except for the squatty tire, um, which is good because the warning lights were on. So we did a complete code scan. There's no codes in the ABS module. The only one that has a code is electronic power steering. Now, don't worry if it says VSA system malfunction. It's a permanent code. That means that the computer and the car have to do a drive cycle and the computer itself has to reset it. There's no warning lights, the car is fixed, so the, the diagnostic and the repair was correct. We got the brake fluid topped off, we got the harness uh, put back in place, uh, washed off all the brake fluid. We did have to do the zero point calibration and, and the car is fixed. So the ABS functions normal, there's no warning lights besides the one code I showed, but that will go off uh, after a few drive cycles. So uh, we consider this one fixed. It is not a hard repair. The part is expensive. It runs in the ballpark about 1400 bucks just in the part. So uh, install, you got a good video to do it. So if you like what you saw today, like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. A place where you can get your kicks and your fix, a body for the buffet, a personality for a rainy day,